What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, and welcome back to another New World video. Uh, today guys, I wanted to touch on this. I, I wasn't even aware that uh, this got posted in the forums at all as a like a community response. Um, but there were some frequently asked questions that were tackled for those of you guys who are curious about the upcoming server transfer. So we're going to hit on these and talk about this and also letting you guys know ahead of time. I know a lot of people were really upset about not being able to transfer through through uh, or two different regions. But they mentioned in here that that's something that they're working on right now. So region transfers should be available but when that's going to happen i have no idea uh they didn't even specify when server transfers themselves are going to be happening i'm assuming this week uh for update but we'll have to wait for patch notes which i will also do a video on as soon as those become available and those typically become available become available like 10 pst uh 10 p.m pst ish but i'll keep my eyes and ears open i will be awake for those so Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, it says, hey, everyone, have answers from the dev team to many of the questions that we have pulled from this thread. You can find them below. Uh, the first question was, how many times will we be able to transfer for free? Will we be able to pay for server transfers after using the free tokens? And the answer is, the initial release includes one transfer token, which is single use. We will continue to monitor the server population. And if transfers result in an uneven distribution that causes queues, we will issue new sets of tokens where needed. The second question is, when will full servers be open for transfer? Will there be any monitoring of these servers to see whether or not they should be open or closed depending on the flow of transfers? The answer is, we monitor full status on a daily basis with changes as recently as today. Full doesn't indicate a server that always has queues. It indicates a server that during typical peak usage has a substantial queue. So we will be relaxing full status on many worlds when transfers start to allow the most flexibility possible. After transfers have slowed down, we will reevaluate which worlds might still need the designation. The next question is, is there a potential for regional transfers to come in the future? The answer is there is potential, yes, and we are working on it now. They cannot provide an ETA because it is a very different process. But when we realized we had created confusion on this, we felt we owed it to the community to find a solution. So again, guys, regional transfers that they're going to be working on. They can't say when, but this should be coming soon. So I know a lot of you guys have created accounts all over the dang place. <laughs> so this will be some information that we'll be waiting on. Although I would say that with the sheer amount of time that this could take before this comes available, if you're waiting to play with friends, I think that you might have just you it might you might have just been better off like you know just moving to the server that your friends was on and just starting a new character. So the next question is, will all members of a large company be able to transfer over? And do we have a cap on how many people can transfer over to a certain server? They said that there is no technical limit to the number of characters that can transfer to a new server. We also have addressed an issue that made moving a company difficult, starting with the release of server transfers. When the last person leaves the company, it will be treated as abandoned and the name will be available seconds later. No, you should not rename your company if you intend to transfer it. That will make the old name unavailable on a new server. Full emptying the company so it is abandoned will free up the name for reuse. So they're basically saying, <laughs> make sure you take everybody out the company and delete your company. Like, so it's gone. So then by the time the timer wears off before you can re recreate that company, you're ready to go uh, when you get to the new server. Okay. However, uh, the large company should consider the implications of moving as a group to a busy server. This could cause the server to be full status after the move. We will warn a full day ahead of time uh, on any full status changes in the week of server transfers being able so as to not surprise anyone with the status change. Now, are there any plans on adding new worlds to X region world set recommended language? Uh, the answer is as new world continues to attract new players, we will evaluate server populations and open new servers as necessary, including making sure there is always a non-full option for supported languages. We will also merge servers if needed to provide the best gameplay experience, even both at the same time, new servers and merge servers as conditions require. So I think the big thing with that is merging is going to be the next phase of this, guys. Like they're going to allow transfers, right? And then after the dust clears from transfers, uh, you can pretty much expect merges. So for those of you guys who be like, well, what if my server's dead, such and such and such, after all the people leave it or whatever, like, again, server, <laughs> server merges will be a thing. So I wouldn't rest on your laurels. 
uh, and just be like, oh yeah, you know, it's no big deal. I don't have anything to worry about now because you might have things to worry about after they merge your ass to somebody else, okay? So <laughs> make sure you uh, get ready for that. Now they said that, is there a time limit or time frame players need to use this token by? They said, no, it is available permanently on the account until used, which is nice. So you guys can just hold on to it. Uh, will we be expanding server capacity in addition to server transfers? Hey, uh, we're always interested in providing the largest capacity that provides the best gameplay environment. We'll increase here as long as we are sure it doesn't degrade gameplay. As many observant players have noticed, we are also experimented with that on some servers. Also, as time goes on, the world of Eternum will get larger, and that would allow better balance room for even more players. Okay, you, you, you want to read that one more time? Also, as time goes on in the world of Eternum, we'll get larger. And that would allow better balance for even more players. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you guys haven't heard the leak, map's going to be twice the size of what it is now. I'm just, just throwing that out there. Uh, so the next question is, are the tokens one per account or one per character? Answer is one per account. Will we be able to move within the same world set? Yes. You are able to transfer your character to a different world in the same world set. Let's go. Uh, for players who are unable to transfer their character to their proper region, would there be some sort of XP boost or compensation available? Uh, they said that they've heard the feedback from those affected by this issue, and they started to work on cross-region transfers based on it. Unfortunately, this will not be in the first re release of transfers, but it is coming as soon as we can get it completed. Let's go. Will we be able to provide an inf infographic ahead of time to help companies and players on their server transfer plans? And the answer is yes. Uh, they're releasing an infographic with the most up-to-date relevant information along with the transfer feature to help our players decide on the world they wish to transfer to. We will update it daily afterwards for as long as it seems necessary. Now the next question is why do we make character and company names global if we can't transfer across regions? As mentioned, we are actually working on transferring between regions right now, uh, so having global names will prevent some confusion that otherwise would have occurred. Companies will also be able to transfer after the last person leaves the company on their origin server the name when it becomes available. This is being delivered with character transfer. After transfers have been used by the most interested, particularly cross-region, we will be considering whether to switch naming limitations to per region. Will there be a way to determine faction demographic on a server before transferring? There is no out of game way to achieve this currently transfers themselves as well as players choosing to change factions could change demographics considerably so any sample taken ahead of time might be misleading. Basically they're just saying let's just wait till you know the dust clears <laughs> then we'll let you know. Uh, how will town projects function if they are not on the same town board? Transfer characters can still turn in projects uh, project quests that are in progress. So can you open the window of when you can transfer for longer so that if you do unlock the lock servers it gives people a chance to get in? Tokens are permanent until they are used. Uh, again just kind of rehashing on the, uh, on the fact that it just stays in your account. Do you remain in your faction or will you have a chance to go to a different faction? What if I already changed factions be once before transferring? Your faction status will be the same after transferring. I think what they mean by this is like even if your faction changes on cooldown, like that same cooldown is going to apply even when you get to the new place. Alright, so if we own a region on our current server, will that affect our ability to delete the guild? If deleting the guild is required, it says no, you can still remove all members from a company that owns a territory. I'm curious to see how that, that, that works. Does the character just become gray? Or the, the territory just become gray? Or then if somebody just declares war? How, like, I don't even know how that works. And the last question is, can we get an answer on the go with high pop servers and transfers, especially in regards to the cases where people have a character on high pop server they wish to join but have been focusing on a lower pop server for playtime? Can we delete existing character and transfer to that server with no troubles as the population will stay the same? Uh, they said it will be necessary to check the potential full status on the server. If it's full, you won't be able to transfer to it even if you delete a character already on the server. Full isn't set by number of characters, it's set based on the peak queue experience. So we will be relaxing many full status servers when transfers are released and we will provide a full day warning on any server changing to full status for several weeks after transfers are released to prevent sur surprise moments of a server switching to full should that be necessary. All in all, I you know, this sounds like this will be a p pretty painless pro uh, process for the most part. 
Uh, I know you guys are, a lot of you guys are going to be uh, switching servers. I'm actually doing a video talking about our server if you guys want information on ours. But overall, I know a lot of you guys are really, really looking forward to getting on with the server transfer, especially since launch was kind of nuts with New World. But let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, are you guys concerned with this? Are you positive about this? Negative about this? You guys think this is going to help the game, kill the game? I'm curious to, to, to hear what you guys think. So let me know that in the comment box below. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And I'd be happy to assist. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.